Hi, my name's Keith Cooper of North Light Images. In this short video, I'm just going to have a quick look at some aspects of printer profiling that causes an ongoing confusion. The reason I'm looking at this is that I have just made another printer profile for the Epson ET8550. Now, the paper that I've used for it is actually one that several people have asked me if I could profile. It's Canon paper, very good paper, premium fine art smooth. Now, unsurprisingly, Canon do not make profiles for Epson printers for their papers and vice versa. So here I have a standard test sheet. This is a target sheet, uh, about two and a half thousand colored patches on this. I print that off and I read it using this I1 ISIS scanning spectrophotometer and I make a profile. Now I've got other stuff looking at that. So great, I have got a profile now for a Canon paper on an Epson printer. This works the other way around as well. And I have profiled some Epson papers on the Canon Pro 1100 that I've been testing recently as well. But this is the bit that causes the confusion. I have used the Epson VFA or Velvet Fine Art media setting on that printer to print this target. There is no Fine Art Smooth media setting. There's a matte media setting, but that doesn't work so well. The Velvet Fine Art uses the pigment black on the 8550. And that's one of the reasons why the blacks and richness on this is particularly good on this matte paper. Now, there are similar papers. Remember that neither Canon nor Epson actually make their own papers. Um, they have them made for them, and those paper makers also make them for other people that uh, you'll find it. Very few, there are very few actual paper makers. But anyway, so I've got a profile, but I use the Velvet Fine Art setting. Now, the bit that I've discovered causes people an ongoing confusion is making the false connection between media settings and profiles. Now, a media setting gives information to the printer to decide how to print. In other words, thickness related things, um, how much ink to put down, all sorts of bits and pieces. It is called after a paper purely for convenience purposes. Now, the VFA setting in uh, the 8550 could equally well be called the thicker fine art paper setting or the banana setting. It means nothing. So the problem is I see sometimes people say, ah, yes, there isn't a media setting for this particular paper. What they mean is there isn't a media setting with the same name as this particular paper. Now, there may well be papers that are very similar. And if you look at all the differences between things like semi-gloss, luster, pearl, um, gloss papers, the differences are quite fine. Now, this isn't helped by the fact that neither Canon nor Epson give you any information as to what those media settings really mean. They call them after their own papers. And if you use Epson Velvet Fine Art, which is a really nice paper. If you use that on the 8550, you get eight great results. Also, you probably get a profile from Epson. Now, I've created profiles for that as well. So the confusion seems to be that the media settings only adjust internal settings in the printer. The media settings can, for example, decide which slot you can use, which slot you have to feed for different printers, have different ways of feeding paper through them. It can make a difference with that. So if you look at any of the profiles I've made, and this one I've added to the collection for the 8550, the profile names I give them have three components. Well, they start with, it will be 8500 or 8550, which is the printer it was made on. Then there is the name of the paper. So in this one, the profile name would be 8550 Canon PFAS. That's to say, this is the paper. Then VFA, and that says, this profile was made for this paper on a particular printer using the VFA media setting. As I say, that doesn't, that doesn't matter what it's called. And also they vary between printers. 
So you'll find different Epson printers have different sets of media names. It's purely they are named after paper types for convenience. Now I said three, actually there are four, because I will also have two letters on the end which will normally give the quality setting that I made the profile at. That's less important, uh, there's less variation in these things, but the key numbers are the printer it was made on, the paper I've made the profile for, and the media setting I made it at. Just remember those things together. To get a great print you need a, pro a profile, for a paper on a printer at a particular setting. And it's the combination of those. Anyway, um, I mentioned I've made this and I've added it to the collection. Um, anyone who's had my 8550 profiles in the past, if you want to drop me an email, I'll send you the updated link that's got this one is in as well. Because I know when I made some for some Canon papers on the 8550, somebody said, oh, can you do the Fine Art Smooth as well? I didn't have any at the time, so now I've done that. So I'll add this into the review as well, so you'll be able to see the whole lot on that. So um, there you go. Hope that clears something up for somebody and saves a bit of wasted paper along the way somewhere. If you understood all of that perfectly well, pat yourself on the back because that is one of the key bits of knowing how to get the best results from a particular paper from a particular printer. Um, so remember, two different things. Thanks for watching. Uh, as ever, please do the usual YouTube like and subscribe. The channel is just coming up to 50,000 subscribers, which will be 45,000 at least, more than I thought it would ever get. So thanks to everyone who's contacted me and uh, found it of use. So uh, there you go. Thank you.